This is your Bible Geeks Daily Download, Cross Training, TNT. Maybe you grew up, like I did, watching the animated hijinks of Wiley e. Coyote, suspending your disbelief that a desert dwelling animal had access to such a massive supply of TNT. It's incredible how many times the coyote would accidentally blow himself up. No matter how well prepared or elaborate the scheme, something always went wrong, leading to an explosive ending. But have you ever felt like you're operating with a short fuse that's ready to blow up in your face? We're cross-training to develop our mercy, one of 12 marks of the master we're working on this year. Mercy comes when we receive God's grace, forgive others, show kindness, and develop patience. So how can we become more calm and loving when it's easier to explode? Well, here's what you need to know. Genuine love is patient because love bears all things and endures all things. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 7. No wonder God shows his love for us in the riches of his kindness and forbearance and patience. Romans 2, 4. Jesus shows his perfect patience towards his followers when we take too long to understand his will and obey. The God of endurance is slow to anger, patiently waiting for people to repent. We say someone has a short fuse when, like a stick of dynamite, it doesn't take them long to explode. The Greek word macro means long, so the translated patience, macrothumia, makes us think of a long fuse or a long-suffering nature. It describes a state of emotional calm in the face of provocation or misfortune without complaint or irritation. With patience, we can bear up under provocation, showing forbearance. To unite Christ's church, imperfect people have to create perfect harmony with other imperfect people, understanding that none of us have arrived. No one has already obtained our goal. None are already perfect, but we press on. Philippians 3.12 While our brothers and sisters might not yet act as spiritually mature as they should, we can believe the best in each other and look forward in the hope of future growth. So Christ's followers put on compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another. Colossians 3, 12 to 13. So here's what you need to do. What do you do when you feel the reins slipping out of your hands as your tongue, like an untamed beast, is about to lash out? Some people count to 10, but how about remembering these 10 familiar words instead? I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13. How about imitating Nehemiah, who paused before speaking in a stressful moment and quietly prayed to the God of heaven? But we need to center ourselves in God's will before the tense moments come, taking time away to pray and meditate on God's word. How did the most patient man who ever lived navigate life's difficulties? In his most stressful, emotionally draining seasons, as demands and interruptions piled up, Christ slipped away to pray. As important as sleeping and eating are to our health and even our patience, sometimes Jesus gave up both to spend time in solitude and prayer. So don't neglect your spiritual well-being. When you fail, repent and call on the Lord's partnership in your life. Don't let one outburst become a downward slide of shame, disappointment, and frustration. God's mercy toward you never runs dry. He's a rock, a help in your weakness, the source of unimaginable power at work within you as you cling to Christ. Can anxious, impatient people like us have a long fuse, bearing with one another in love? Ephesians 4 verse 12. With man, it might seem impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19 verse 26. So how can we practice patience through the week? Here's five challenges that you can do on your own along with us. First, we invite you to read Luke 22, 31 to 34, 1 Timothy 1, 12 to 17, Proverbs 16, 32, Romans 15, 1 to 7, and 1 Thessalonians 5, 12 to 18. And then we'll reflect together on a spiritual question, asking ourselves, am I willing to bear with others' weaknesses and failings as God bears with mine? And then we'll make our request to God praying, Lord, give me the good sense to be slow to anger and overlook offenses. And then we challenge you to respond by taking action this morning and taking extra time to prayerfully prepare to respond graciously to the day's difficulties. 
Finally, we encourage you to reach out by asking someone, what irritation or button is the Achilles heel of your patience? So let's be patient in difficult moments this week. And may the Lord bless you and keep you today. Shalom. Shalom.